Hi there, in this tutorial, I'll show you how our new calendar integration works. Now your Forty Time Planner integrates links to Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and the Reminders app. Our planners with this new calendar integration can be used in any note-taking apps that work with hyperlink PDF, such as GoodNotes, Notability, NoteShelf, etc. In this demo, I'll show you how this works in GoodNotes on iPad. Once you download your planner, go to the copyright page where you'll find links to install the shortcuts. Please make sure to install both shortcuts. Also, you want to make sure you choose the right planner from the download links document so that the calendar links can work properly. Let's install both shortcuts. Click Install Shortcut 42 Line. Click Setup Shortcut. If you use GoodNotes for the planner, simply click Add Shortcut. If you use a different app such as Notability, click here and find Notability. If you have trouble installing the shortcut, you can try this. Go to Settings, find the Shortcuts app, and turn on Private Sharing. After you install the shortcut, you can turn this off. Then install Shortcut 42 Line 4Q by following the same steps. As we need the Shortcuts app for this feature to work, I would suggest keeping your Shortcuts app to the slide over mode. Now let me show you how to add events to the calendar app from the planner. There are two ways. The first way is to go to a daily page and click on any of the time slots here. You'll see a pop-up message. Just click yes. It will open up your calendar app and brings you to the exact time and date of the schedule panel. What calendar it pulls up depends on what planner version you choose. It's either Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. Let's say you have a meeting at 11 a.m. on November 21st. Let's go to the daily page for that day. Write down the event details in the planner. Copy it. Click on the time slot, 11 a.m and paste it to your Apple Calendar. It will automatically convert your handwritten notes to text. Please note, this trick may not work in other note-taking apps. You might get another pop-up message like this. Make sure you choose Always Allow, then you won't get a pop-up every time you use this feature. What if I want to schedule an all-day event? Let's say November 7 is Dad's birthday, Simply go to the daily page of that day and click on any of these time slots here to bring up the exact day on Apple Calendar. And turn on All Day. Next, let me show you the second way to add events to the calendar app. You'll notice a link out icon at the top right corner on every page of the planner. Click on it, and it will give you options to add an event to Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, and the Reminders app. One thing I need to mention here is that you manually choose the day and time for the event. But this method allows you to add events to your calendar from anywhere in the planner, like on the daily section, monthly section, weekly section, etc. Here, I want to touch on how to add events to your Outlook calendar. You'll always do this by the link out icon, not the time slots on the daily pages. The first time you use this feature, you might be taken to the Outlook sign-in page. Simply sign in to your Microsoft account
The next time you tap on it, it will take you straight to the schedule panel of your Outlook calendar. Now let me show you how to add tasks to the Reminders app from the Planner. There are two ways. The first way is to go to a daily page and click the Reminders icon at the top right corner here. Let's say I have some to-do lists on December 2nd and I want to add this task review video to my Reminders app. Let's copy it and click on the Reminders icon. It will bring up a few prompts from your Reminders app. The first prompt is the title for the task you want to save in Reminders. Let's paste the task we just copied here and click Done. Then it comes the second prompt. Choose the list where you want to save the task. Bear in mind, if you don't have any lists in your Reminders app, you'll see a message that says there's no list to choose from instead. So please make sure you at least add a list in your Reminders app. Okay, let's do it again. I'll save it in my word list. Now it comes the last prompt where you'll see an option for you to add a time for the task. If you don't want to add a time, simply click done. It will add this task to the exact date, which is December 2nd, 2024 in this demo. If you want to add a time, it's very simple. Let's say I want to add this task, meeting teachers with the time. Okay, when we get to the last prompt, enter the space key first and enter the time like so. Make sure you add AM or PM after the number to get the time right. And click done. Now, as you can see from the Reminders app, the tasks I just added are right here. They're both assigned a date, one with time and the other without time. Another way to add tasks to the Reminders app is to use the link out icon I mentioned earlier. As I've explained, this method allows you to add tasks to Reminders from anywhere in the planner, like on the monthly pages and weekly pages. I hope you find the new calendar integration useful. Let me know in the comments your thoughts or any suggestions on how to improve this feature. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.